This problem asks us to simplify this expression. And when we say simplify form, we're referring to a form which has no zero exponent, no negative exponent, and no fractional exponent in the denominator. First, we have 81 raised to the negative 1 fourth. I will look for the prime factors of 81 and write 81 as 3 to the 4th raised to the negative 1 fourth. Then we have a to the negative 4 raised to the negative 1 fourth. And you know that we can just multiply those numbers, negative 4 and negative 1 fourth. We can do the same for b to the 4 thirds raised to the negative 1 fourth or b to the 4 thirds times negative 1 fourth. So we have for 3 to the 4th raised to the negative 1 fourth, 3 to the negative 1. For a raised to this exponent, we have a to the positive 1. And for b raised to this exponent, we have b to the negative 1 third. But we still have negative exponents here, so what we can do is to bring these two terms, t to the negative 1 and b to the negative 1 third to the denominator, and write a over 3 times b to the 1 third. 3 to the negative 1 is 1 over 3, and b to the negative 1 third is 1 over b to the 1 third. But now we have a fractional exponent, and to remove that, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by a b term, with an exponent which will make this product equal to a b term whose exponent is an integer. And that will be b to, for example, 2 thirds. So that when you combine these two, you have 1 third plus 2 thirds. That's 3 over 3 or 1, which is already an integer. So this must also be b to the 2 thirds. Multiplying, we have a, b to the 2 thirds over 3, b. Because b to the 1 third times b to the 2 thirds is b to the 3 over 3 or 1. So this is the simplified form of 81, a to the negative 4, b to the 4 thirds raised to the negative 1 fourth.